Welcome to another Cinema 4D tutorial and today we're going to talk a little bit about how we get objects from Cinema 4D into Unity. Um, if you're not familiar with Unity, Unity is um, basically a game engine that's used to make two-dimensional and three-dimensional games and now more so than ever um, to build augmented reality and virtual reality games and apps. Um, and so we're going to be working our way towards showing you how to do some of that. But first things first, we're going to show you how you get your actual um, model here from Cinema 4D into Unity correctly. Um, so we've shown this before where we have this animated bus driving by this building. And essentially what we're going to, the long term of this project is to show um, all this in augmented reality. So that means that um, somebody would have the app on their phone and they would have a tracker, which would be an image that you print off on your printer. And when you lay this down on the table and point the app through your phone camera at that tracker point, you're going to see this big building and you're going to see the, uh, the bus driving and all of that. And so it's going to be pretty cool. So the first thing first for this whole scene, um, we, you know, we want to make sure that uh, anything that we don't want to um, export is, is checked off. So I had the sky and the light here just for you know looking at some of my materials, and I don't want that to be exported along with um, everything else. Um, so the next thing is your materials. You know, if you go and create a new material, it's just going to say matte. And if you have five materials, it's going to say mat.1.2.3. Well, that's not going to work well with Unity. So what you need to make sure you do, and I've done that here, um, and let me delete this material, is I've named all of them unique names. White, green for, I believe that was for the plants that we're not worrying about right now. Gray, window, tire on the bus, building, and then dark building, some of these dark features of the building. So what you want to do is go to File, Export, FBX, and we're going to call this Tutorial. I should put it on my desktop. It's going to say, do you want lights? Do you want cameras? Do you want splines? Well, we're not going to worry about that too much because I don't even have any that I'm going to export. I do want the animation tracks, that's my two keyframes that have my bus driving. Um, and I definitely want textures and materials. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and click OK. Super quick export. Now that we're in Unity, and if you don't have Unity, you can download it for free. Um, and it's not a very difficult program to use and it definitely has some awesome, I mean, it's a whole other world. but. I recommend you check out some, some tutorials on Unity if you don't if you have any questions about it. Um, but here we're going to go to File, or sorry, Assets, Import a New Asset, and we're going to find our tutorial FBX. This is the one. We're going to import that. It's going to take a minute, and now we've got it in here. And if you click this little play button, it's going to show you everything that was exported in. So you can, if you wanted to, you could pull out individual items and place them in. You don't have to place the whole scene in. But um, for the purposes of this tutorial, if I, uh, let's see, turn off the one I have in there, if I just drag this into my scene, voila, I've got it. Now, the problem is, if I look at my camera here, I want to make sure that my bus is animated. If I look at it here down in the import settings and I just click play, I know that my, my animation track came in. However, when I go and preview this game, which you click the play button, and I review, my bus is, is not moving. Um, and so why is that? So, well, it, it's, a, it's a very simple fix. Under animations, you see C4D main. That's our main animation. That's, we didn't call it anything else. But if you wanted to, you could go 
in here and say, let's call it bus driving. All right, and now that clip, my little two seconds, sorry, six second animation, I want to loop it and I'm going to apply it. All right. This flash right here, my little tutorial uh, FBX. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click play on that. You're gonna see there's this little bus driving animation. All I need to do now is take this bad boy and, sorry, I'm looking on tutorial. Just drag that up onto my tutorial. It's now the controller of the animation. And if I click play, Oh, we've got a bus driving by. So you can imagine what kind of and you know scenes that you can create. Um, you know, with augmented reality, the ability to take these animations and just um, you know build a scene like this, maybe even a whole city scene. We have tons of traffic driving. If you want to show this building's proximity to um, other buildings in a city, if you want to show an airport, you could have planes landing and taking off. Um, you can build these animations out to a uh, you know much longer than six seconds, and then you just export them as FBX into Unity, and now you can do a whole lot of other things in Unity. Um, if you wanted to build you know terrain and put trees there and start to build your your whole game object, you can always look in the game mode and have to take take a look at how it would look from your camera's view. But uh, we'll get into Unity more later. That's just been a quick tutorial on how you export from Cinema 4D into Unity. Thanks for watching.